Yep, Trexy. Yes, he is. All right, so already, G-Shark looks like he knows that Nair will be able to cancel out some of the aerials there. Goes for guaranteed down throw back air. He's trying to get a catch right now. He needs to find someone. Uh, Villager, because he's kind of heavy, it's, it's easier to get combos down on him, even though he's small, you know? Small I believe this stage helps out ZSS a lot more than this is going to help out Villager. Ooh. Just because of the platform. Villager can't get a lot of his setups with like the slingshot, with the tree, with the Lloyd, because G-Shark can just hop up on the platform and just chill, wait it out. And at the same time, ZSS is famous for using these platforms, taking people up the stairway to heaven, giving them that upbeat. <laughs> I like that. That's a stairway to heaven. I like it. Yeah, that, now, that down air is a good response. G-Shark goes in for a dare himself. Ooh, uh, go straight for that axe. This is why tether grabs do you, you know they have their pluses and minuses. Most definitely. Okay, now that the tree's up though, that's definitely Ooh, gonna pocket, help out a little bit. Pocketed paralyzer. Let's see how Trex is gonna use this. Ah. If he got it right back, nope, that goes into a grab. One up air, but it's definitely not gonna get a follow-up at this high of percent. Yeah, right now G-Shark is just going for the guarantee. He's getting the down throws, he's going straight for the up air. Right there, leading to a stock, but he's playing a little conservative. He had a nice little string earlier, but he's just trying to get the guaranteed right now. Yeah. Being a little, a little bit smarter about it. Good for him. Trex now, though, see, he's pushing his opponent all the way Ooh. off stage. Oh, invisibility ran out. Yep, G-Shark needed right. to make a choice, but it was just a little bit too late. <clears throat> Trex is definitely back in it right now. Okay, now that he has the tree up, though, see how he's playing it. He's throwing out his projectiles while uh, G-Shark doesn't opt to go for the platforms and just try to avoid it. Only thing he would have to worry about are slingshots Ooh, and the Lloyd, right but the there, just like you said, solid grab. Yeah, right there. He missed that jump right there to get the other up there. Let's see what he does right here. Up B, gonna Ooh. take the stock. Good stuff to G-Shark right there. The Popping angle up was game one. perfect, sending him right to the corner at ledge, um, corner edge of the stage. Zero suit. She puts in that work. I mean, she's just trying to show Villager these stilettos. Like, you know, she just went shopping. She just got paid. She's <laughs> like, hey, boo, come look at my shoes. She's a bounty hunter, so she's always getting paid. Mm. She's out there putting in that hard work. The hardest of work. Not out there hunting everybody, getting them kills. Except Project M. Not Project M. Uh, what, what's the other one called? Other M. Oh, yeah, we're going to talk yeah, about yeah. that one. <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. All right, we're going oh, to the KFC right now. We're going to Pokemon League. Completely flat stage. Now, that's definitely going to help out Trex here. He doesn't have to worry about those platforms anymore, and his projectiles get a straight shot at his opponent. I really, I'm gonna be interested to see how Lloyd is gonna play in this matchup because right there, as we saw, it absorbs Paralyzer. Yeah. So he can pocket it or he can use a Lloyd as protection. He's actually been, uh, G-Shark. Uh, he's actually been, G-Shark's been very aware that Trex is gonna go for the pocket and he's been punishing for him immediately. That's a really, really smart tactic. Like, those are the things people are like, oh man, I hate that this character can do this. Ooh, three turn, it's not quite gonna take a stock yet. Set up those situations where that could be uh, something that you can capitalize on. Yep. All right. A lot of percent getting tacked on the G-Shark. He cannot deal this flat stage. He's getting hit by a lot. No, but I like what Trex is doing. He's playing his game, throwing the Lloyds, throwing the sleep shots, and trying to get these grabs right now. Yeah. Just really spacing out. G-Stark's being kind of forced to try to go in himself. Also, what's really cool is that Trex will nair in certain directions so that he can get a follow-up after if the nair hits. Ooh. But he gets caught again. This is the difference. When you have a character that has such strong uh, kill options, you know, kill confirms. You get that up air just right, you get that perfect angle in DI, it's hard to get out of it. Yeah, that boost kick, no joke. As we see him courtesy of Nairo many a times. Yeah. Ooh. Ah, nice. Could have held that one right three. there. I like that he opted for the down B that time to get out of that situation since it gave him enough vulnerability to get out. Yeah, I think Trex could have held on to that force a little longer. Could have got that platform. Nonetheless, G Shark's sitting at 143 right now. I'm trying to take out this set. A lot of the problem as well is that uh, Trex's attacks aren't don't really seem safe on shield. Like Zero Suit has such a great jump that it's like, oh yeah, you went high, I'll be there. Ooh, backer, gonna take that stock right there. So clean with the two stock. 
Dang. Ooh. G-Shark showing up today. 